Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. It is I, Jack, and let's talk about Long Legs. Long Legs, directed by Oz Perkins, starring Micah Monroe and Nicolas Cage. Basically, this movie has been hyped up to be probably one of the scariest films of the year. Um, maybe even the most disturbing film in the last few years. That's what you would get from, of course, all the advertisement for this movie. So, when I went to go see it, I knew that's all hype. I knew that that was not going to be the case. So, what I went into was, is this an actual, actual good movie? Is it? I have to say it is. It's a good movie. Um, it is very interestingly shot. There's a lot of times where you're focused straight down the middle. Everything's centered. And there's at times where the, the screen reminds you of, of a Polaroid. Um, and of course, then it widens out. So there's a lot of interesting takes when it comes to the camera work and whatnot. Uh, story, though, that's where everything is. That's what really matters, you know? And I'll say that the story is good. Um, it's kind of creepy, but a little bit far-fetched, I would say. It has like certain elements in this film that are kind of generic in, in a sense. I, I'm not going to tell you what it is. I really recommend you go into it as cold as you can. Um, but I will say this, because it's even been mentioned by the director that his inspiration, you can say, or his t the reason why this movie is kind of the way it is, is because it's it it has it, the intention was to have the Silence of the Lambs vibe. It it really is very similar. I mean, it's even the tag the the tagline here. It's in pursuit of a serial killer, an FBI agent uncovers a series of occult clues that she must solve to end a killing spree. It kind of reminds you of Signs of the Lambs. You know, it's very similar. In this one, it's it's a little bit more, I would say, more disturbing because of the fact that it's quiet. The, there are certain shots that linger for a while that makes the audience member kind of antsy. And for some people, that anxiety causes you to go to another place where you'll feel more more disturbed especially if you're you're really engaged in it so is it super scary not really it really isn't super scary is it good it is very good i really do recommend you watch it um just don't believe the hype that's the one thing i'll say but i do i did enjoy the film i really really did um some people will say that nicholas cage's performance is a make or break. I could kind of see that. Um, in fact, online, I've had some discourse with some people, um, especially when I mentioned, you know, that it has Sons of the Lands vibe. They feel very defensive about that film. And I mean, every, movies are subjective. Some people like Sons of the Lands. Some people don't. Some people call it the greatest thriller horror film of the, of ever. And some don't. So, I mean, to each his own, really. But I will say that I could kind of see where Nicolas Cage's performance will be a make or break for some people. Um, if you go with it, you'll 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 see why it works. But if you're if you're gonna come out or come into it already, kind of preparing to destroy the film <laughs> from from its entirety, you're not gonna like the film. So why even waste the money? So, but I say. Go into it, give it a benefit of the doubt, and I think you'll end up liking it towards the end. I will say, though, I do like the ending, and I do like that it leaves you kind of in a certain spot. I'll just say that. <laughs> but um, I would put it in my, uh, my thriller list of films to see. It's... It's uh, 
I don't think it's a real horror film. It's a thriller. I, I see it more that way. But apparently this is Neon's biggest uh, opening for one of their films. And I tell people there's two types of companies right now that are making really good like horror and thriller movies. And that's A24 and Neon. There's another one too. Um, I can't remember off the top of my head uh, the name of it, but... Those two stand out right now, and I'm glad. I'm glad for the success this film has had. Um, and Neon, I hope, will keep producing these type of uh, movies. I know that leads to a whole other discussion about, <laughs> you know, the highbrow horror or thriller versus lowbrow. Uh, that's a whole other discussion. I don't want to have at this moment. But what did you all think? What did you think? Uh, over, uh, let's all at least understand this. It is overhyped. So let's not go there. But what did you think of the film itself? Good, bad? Could have used this? Could have used that? Leave it in the comments. And like usual, like, subscribe, and all that stuff. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.